Tonight, a deadly floor collapse that claimed the life of a construction worker. Now, this happened inside a historic building today in Ypsilanti's depot town. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette now with witnesses who actually saw rescue crews rush inside. We're told contract workers were in the process of fixing up this Civil War barracks when suddenly the ceiling gave way and debris came crashing down onto people. It was a massive effort to save lives amid a dangerous collapse of the first floor of this former Civil War barracks. Witnesses saw it all unfold here in Ypsilanti's depot town. The guys going off the war, the Civil War, they barracks there and there, there's their radio station right here. I grew up here over the years. There's been a lot of uh, different co companies in there and different things. The building so old and damaged from a fire years ago. It all happened at about noon today here on North River. The only victim, a worker who was trapped and somehow pulled out by first responders. He had been entirely covered by debris. Soon after, at the hospital, he died from his injuries. When we arrived on scene, his co-workers were flagging us in. We came around the back of the building. They were working in what would be considered to be the basement of the building, and the first floor came down on top of them. EMS workers and firefighters truly risk their own lives trying to save another. We were at home. We heard a lot of sirens and things going on, and we came down, and there were all the. They got here fast. Some tell us this structure just isn't safe given its age. Still, it's slated to be renovated into new space for retail and lofts. The first floor was scheduled to be demolished today. In Ypsilanti, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.